Hi, Gizmo here. Welcome to my next adventure. I'm catching up with a buddy of mine, Travis, from beyond the backyard, and we're heading to Mount Joyce Base Camp. It's also known by its Aboriginal name of Gumby. It's a free campsite and just happens to be an old homestead that you're allowed to camp at. Now it's going to be a nine kilometre paddle from here, but I have my trolling motor so it won't be so tough.
okay, we're all set up now, we're ready to go. I'm about to get on the water. Woohoo! Pelican up there, just oh, there he goes, taking off. Big pelicans. What a spot, hey! Wow, this is just amazing. Lake Wyaralon. How far did you say it was, mate? About how many k's? Huh? A bit of a tree stump there. Okay. Whoa, whoa, sure is. Had some fun getting over that. <laughs> I just wasn't sure if there was any barbed wires still on those on the fence. Oh yeah. So cross back there, but it wasn't yeah. much better really. <laughs> I got hung up on there a bit. It sits a bit low in the water, at the back. Yeah. So much bird life on this dam. Kangaroo's just sitting there. 
Let's get. Not too worried about us, we can't actually jump out of the boat and garbage, can we? No. <laughs> no, <laughs> Well, off to a good start. Got some kangaroos, some big pelicans. Yeah, pretty amazing. Of course, um, Travis's kayak's quite a bit faster than mine, so he's going to have to tolerate me going slow all day. <laughs> That's all right. Once you fire up the motor, I'm sure you'll leave me for dead. <laughs> yeah. Hey? yeah, that's fantastic. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, um, Got an eagle over there. Eagle, yeah. Yeah. That might be his nest up there. Oh yeah, there it is. Spotted an eagle over there. There's a nest up in the tree. Um, we might come across him again in a moment. I don't know if the camera's getting that nest up there. Oh, there, there's one who's hovering up, up there high, really high. It's too far away for me to tell what sort he is. Yeah, that's pretty normal for me. So what do you, what do you reckon, eh? Yeah, this lake is just fantastic. Just chilling along the lake. Um, the eagle's just up there, soaring up above us, up there. Just flying through those trees up there. I don't know if this little action cam will pick it up or not. But, um, now I can hear some ducks. There's a uh, there's a weed barrier across the lake here. That we've got a trying to avoid. It looks like it's sunken below, just up here. So rather trying to go over it, we're going over the part that's below the waterline. dramas. So what's the plan for today? Well, we're heading out to Mount Joyce Base Camp and uh, going to stay in a little um, like a house it's, I think it's an old schoolhouse oh there's another big eagle we just took off just above Travis's head there he was sitting in the tree there didn't even see him yeah so uh, we're going to stay in this schoolhouse which is free to camp there's um, tables and I think there's chairs so, all up yeah pretty good let's have a leisurely day getting there on the lake but no rush, got all day, really. I'll fire up the uh, 
down to Cormorant. Got a lot of bird life on this lake. Yeah, your sail's blowing the wrong way. Yeah. <laughs> There's some little um, dusky moorhens over there. Looks like another big eagle's nest in the tree up here. more of this, well I can see the cars, more of this tree stuff to do. Yeah. Fair bit of it. Yeah, there's um, I guess, yeah I, can't, yeah, I can't remember exactly, but there is, we will see this for a fair way, I think. Well, I'm going to fire up the old motor and see how it goes, see if it works. Haven't used it for quite a while. This always happens when I start to set up, I start spinning around in the wrong, di wrong direction. Don't get much better than this. Woohoo! <laughs> well, the uh, motor has died. It hasn't really died. The, uh, the switch on the motor has shorted out somehow and it's um, just stayed on. I couldn't turn it off. I'll have a bit of a look at it tonight. And another thing, I shaved the leg, the hair off the leg on my right leg because um, I got stung by a singing tree three days ago when I went up the, uh, the Agile National Park. It's still quite painful now, it's not as bad as it was, but uh, I had to shave the legs off to try and get the little fine fibres out of my leg because that's what keeps poisoning you. Poisoning you. And I didn't have any um, 
wax and like when you prepare wax to pull the hair out with. I tried some uh, gaff tape. All that did was just pull the hairs out of my legs with that hurt too. But, uh, yeah, I've been suffering with it, just taking painkillers all night. It's not too bad now. What I might do, I might find somewhere to fall over, put some suntan cream on, just so I feel I'm starting to get hot. Good as spot as any. to put some sun cream on so my legs are starting to cook I think Yeah, nothing like slimy old sunken stuff. And we're off. Yeah, it's just blowing like a gale over the other side, and it's not a breath of wind here. As soon as we get around this corner, again, I think we're going to be in the wind again. Yeah, you can see it on the top of the water. Oh. Well, fingers crossed. Same direction tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's really choppy the water here. Here it comes. I haven't been having too much success with my um, trolling motor. Um, the switch is buggered up, so I disconnected it and um, just connected the motor straight to the battery. But um, it ran for a while and now it's cut off again. So, yeah, I don't know. It's been pretty old now. Um, I don't know what's wrong with it. But um, it's really getting a good workout today, I'll tell you that. I guess we're out of the wind now. close now. Um, the wind's picked up again uh, but I think it's just down here this point here. I'm kind of hoping it is. I was relying on the uh, wind.
smile on the side, mate. Buddy's uh, kayak just cuts through the water like butter. This one doesn't, this one's like a slug. <laughs> Alright, um, Travis is down there waiting for me, um, that's the point I think, I hope, <laughs> we'll get out. That wind just picked up right on that corner there, it was so hard. Boy. Last push. I can't believe I finally made it. Wow. It's been so tough. Oh boy. I was 100% uh, relying on that motor. And um, yeah, it failed me. First time it's ever failed me. Uh, it failed me big time. I'll have a look at it tonight. I'm not sure what's going on. I don't think it has a thermal cutout, so something's happened. Back to the drawing board with that one. Apart from that, uh, yeah, great day out on the water. If it wasn't for the wind, it'd be perfect. Probably only 100 metres to go. Oh, never been so glad to see the shoreline. Oh boy. I'll be looking forward to those um, Uncle Ben's rice carbo carbohydrates tonight and a couple of steaks. It's going to be awesome. You're going to need it for my energy, especially on the paddle out tomorrow. Hopefully the wind's blowing the same way and it'll blow us all the way back. Looks like there's a table and chairs under the tree up here. Perfect for a little stop. I'll be feeling that tonight. Travis has got a sail, but um, yeah, it's a shame the wind was blowing the wrong way. <laughs> well, fingers crossed tomorrow. It'll be uh, yeah. You can tell you can tell me. Yeah. 
uh, kayaks behind and uh, heading on our first trip to the cabin. I'll probably have to come back and get the esky. Is there around? Um, is the stand up there? Well, we've made it. So we've got this whole entire building to ourselves tonight. How awesome! And there's a toilet block up there. Water tanks. I brought my shelf for that. That wasn't too bad walking. Hi honey, I'm home! <laughs> oh boy! So, what a spot to get to, have a free camp. Wonder if there's any ghosts in these um, buildings. Hey? Ghosts? Ghosts. Any of you ghosts in there? <laughs> I don't know. I don't care, they're probably <laughs> more scared of me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's that's yeah, a few people have said to me, aren't you worried about camping in an abandoned house in the woods? I said, no, I'm probably scarier than scarier than most things. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, thanks Travis. Thanks mate. Thanks no very much for here. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Uh, yeah. <laughs> gotta go back and get the esky because it's got all the good stuff in it. <laughs> <laughs> You've earned that tonight. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they put bunk beds in, in these rooms. And uh, Oh yeah, cool. Um, we'll go in and um, get the good camera and we'll have a good tour later. Oh, this is amazing. If you've ever watched any of um, Steve Wallace's videos, this is kind of like the things that he gets up to. Um, yeah, now we're doing the same sort of thing. Um, yeah, I'll, wait, I'll be waiting for, night, for tonight for my step two. Yeah. <laughs> you do realise that Steve's made a new saying now, step two. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's going to say that now. <laughs> That's right. I love a step two. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is awesome. Yeah. And it's, it's quite um, good to see that there's no, like it's not full of graffiti like most no, places. It's yeah. got a little bit on this wall, but that's it. Too bad. Yeah. So after that hard effort of getting in here, it was well, well, well worth the effort to get in. Yeah, really, really good. I said there's water tanks and there's a toilet block, so what more could you ask me? Uh, getting a bit thirsty, I might have to go back and get my esky with my drinks. <laughs> Alright, well, before I get too much further into unpacking, I might have something to eat. Okay, when I actually calm down after that big strenuous effort getting here, 
I'll show you around this place. Pretty awesome. Um, Travis has claimed one of the rooms there for his room tonight. I'll claim one in the front and I'll set up my own mattress in the front. They've actually built bunks in the rooms. So as you can see, they've got some other bunks built. I'll just set myself up down here. Let's put this off the floor a little bit. Four inches. That'll do. So let's go and have a tour of this house. There's another room here with double bunks. And this is the uh, this is the veranda area. This is where we'll be preparing our food tonight. Would have been quite a lovely old homestead back in the day. I read somewhere that it was a schoolhouse. It doesn't look like a schoolhouse, but it might have been. Let's go in here. Now. All the doors have got these mesh um, doors on them, I guess it's to stop any um, vermin or animals getting in or upsetting the place. This uh, room doesn't actually have any bugs or anything in it, but if there was a lot of people here, there's, there's plenty of room for everyone to accommodate themselves. So, yeah, we was worried that um, if there was somebody else here, there'd be no room. There's obviously plenty of room, it's pretty huge. And these rooms are fairly big, so yeah, the, the possibility of it actually being a school, yeah, it could have been. Could have been sort of a, a housey, schooly thing, because it's sort of out in the middle of nowhere. Good that they've actually just left it here for us to use. This looks like a uh, part of a walk-in pantry. Somebody obviously comes here and knows this place. Got your good old pit toilet over there. Uh, in Australia we call those a dunny.
and for what it is it's not too bad there's toilet paper and everything in there cleaning product um, it's good to come out on a trip and actually have a toilet <laughs> yeah. not too bad this is the area we have this all to ourselves it's amazing Kangaroo just sitting in the grass there. Yeah, he's sort of out of my reach of vision. Just up near the dunny. Hmm. So there you go. How cool is this place? Um, yeah, I'll send the drone up in a minute and you can have a look at the, um, the area and the lake. We're getting back, heading back down to the water to go for a swim and I've got to look and see if I've left my air mattress in the canoe. Hopefully I have. Um, yeah, if I haven't I'm going to have an old comfortable, uncomfortable sleep tonight without my air mattress. Uh, <laughs> after that tough swim and then an uncomfortable sleep that's just going to be great. Anyway, fingers crossed it's down there. If not, I think I'll set up the tent on the nice soft grass and sleep on that instead. All right, well, no air mattress, but um, yeah, I'll just go in and soak my tired old bones there yeah, so it can relax me for tonight. Yeah, there's a few of them around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was wondering if they were like catfish nesting holes. They, they supposed to dig themselves in holes, don't they? Life don't get much better than this. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Plan A didn't go to uh, quite as planned. Um, I went and I grabbed my tent and I'm uh, going to actually find the softest, mushiest bit of grass outside and I'll set the tent up on the soft, mushy grass and uh, just try and lay on all my clothes and try to make it as mushy and as soft as possible. Um, I might actually put all my clothes on tonight and lay on top of my sleeping bag because I think it's going to be cold anyway and um, that should suffice. Uh, there's always something you forget. But Oh, I forget the mattress. <laughs> oh. oh, there's a really nice mushy grass to catch here. Yeah, I think I've found my spot. This spot here is already clumps of um, already clumps of grass. There, I'll pile all that up. I'll make this spot. This will be my bed for the night. Instead of there, which would have been great. <laughs> yeah. All right. Beggars can't be choosers. Uh. 
right, time to set the tent up. I think I'll just uh, go around and I'll grab heaps of these clumps of this grass and uh, build myself a nice little soft patch over here. Am I dumb or what? <laughs> I just found my mattress. Back to the house it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was pretty cushy, look at it. Yeah. Look. Quite a bit. It's actually nice. <laughs> Would have been alright. Oh well. Was it inside the tent? Hey? Was it inside the tent? Yeah. Yeah. Of course it was inside my tent, that's the obvious place. I looked though, just didn't look hard enough. Well, how funny was that? <laughs> not, not particularly funny, but um, I'm really happy now I've got a proper mattress to sleep on. too much but I'll test that out and I can adjust that here in it later tonight um, but yeah all the comforts at home now uh, I did have a pillow too yes because I thought I'd forgotten my pillow as well so yeah that changes the situation remarkably sleeping in comfort tonight, especially after that paddle, I really wanted to have the nice comfort to sleep, not lay out on the grass. Alright, getting a bit peggy, so I might have some uh, noodles. See how Travis's workstation down there is all nice and neat and tidy and mine is like a <laughs> bomb's gone off. <laughs> that's just, that's how I roll. <laughs> I don't think my waterproof GoPro is still waterproof. <laughs> <laughs> After that little swim. Are you talking about water? Yeah. I mean, they're meant to be waterproof. Yeah, they are. But um, I think some water is still in there. Oh. But, uh, oh yeah. Anyway, hopefully, it's only fresh water, so it should still be good. You know, the best thing to, um, here's a tip for you. The best thing to dry out your implements is not rice in a bowl, is a plastic bag out in the sun. You get a Ziploc bag, put your camera in the plastic bag, Ziploc it out, stick it out in the sun. The sun will draw all the moisture out of it into the plastic bag. That's a good tip. Works really, really well. How do I know? <laughs> <laughs> Done it heaps of times. I've also got drinking water that way. <laughs> so I'm going to just make myself some noodles. Um, so I'll tie me out until dinner time. So what happens with these gas cylinders, um, I refill them with those cheap um, butane containers 
and uh, when you buy them from the shop, these ones, they've actually got two mixtures of two different gases so they burn a lot better. So it kicking around a bit like a freight train, I think that's because it's got the wrong sort of gas in it. It still works. Um, there are water tanks at this uh, facility, but I brought my filter with me because I'm going to filter the water out of those tanks. I mean, it possibly could be okay, but I'm not going to take the risk. So while that's cooking, I'll go and get some water. So it actually has a sign on it that says, do not drink. It's not actually for drinking consumption. So yeah, I'm going to filter it in the filter. Beef jerk and uh, gin and tonic. It must be must mean it's whiskey time. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to drink some water and show you how I drink water, but you know, it's even better. <laughs> no, what I was going to show is uh, when I actually fill this up to drink out of it. The first thing that I do is I just squirt a little bit out of the filter first, just to get anything that's already in the filter out, and then just good to go. So, as one of my favourite YouTubers would say, Steve Wallace, um, I love watching his videos, uh, it's step two time for the grumpy old man. <laughs> and I've got Fireball, this is actually a mixture of Fireball and um, American Honey Liqueur. Mm. Which is now my favourite. <laughs> <laughs> I bought some Fireball along. I bought some along, yeah. And yeah, it's good stuff. It's very popular now. Seems to be. I actually um, scored some as a Christmas gift. Mm -hmm. uh, something else I want to point out too, uh, I'm not sure how clear this come out on film, but I'll try and get a bit more light. My brother bought me a Gizmo's Bush of Shape shirt. <laughs> so now I'm famous. <laughs> oh <boy. laughs> Thanks, John. Beef jerky. That one's just from Woolies. Oh, I'll um, get a close up of that so I can get some of that because um, the one that I had was pretty ordinary. <laughs> <laughs> well, this one's not too bad, it's char grill. Looks good. Okay. No worries. Yeah, I bought a spicy hot one as well. But, um... Okay, the water's boiled. Put it in the old noodles. The only reason I have these noodles is because it's just it's too easy. And I'm, I'm not a good cook. <laughs> My wife does all the cooking at home. Thank you, dear. I mean, I used to attend cooking when I was a kid. I did, did some stuff, but um, as soon as I got married, <laughs> My wife does that now. So these um, noodles, they're um, they're fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks I'm mad. <laughs> You got to be a bit mad, hitting here drinking in my grumpy old man thing with my fireball and my jerky and my fantastic noodles. <laughs> Life's can't get much better than this, mate. That's right. Yep. Uh, We're enjoying ourselves anyway. Yeah. I'm not looking forward to the paddle out tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>
and the motor don't work. <laughs> well, we just hope the wind is still going the same direction. He got a sail, so I'm going to hook up on the back yeah. of him and tow, tow me. <laughs> I wonder if I could rig up that um, that um, ground sheet. That ground sheet as a as a parachute. Yeah, we might do that. Yeah, that'd work. Yeah, four bits of rope in each corner. Yeah, all oh, the big sticks. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that was a tough paddle coming in today. That was hard. Yeah. My thing, my my kayak's like a slime in the water. Yeah. Yeah, and your one, your one just yeah, smooth as butter. But um, yeah, it would have been. I knew it was going to be that way, but that's why I wanted the motor. Yes. Uh, yeah, didn't work out that way. Yeah. But I mean, we've got all that that extra scenery down that way. That like if you're coming from the other way, yeah, it's just plain Nothing. and yeah. Oh no, I appreciate it, it was great. It was actually beautiful, all those sunken trees and everything. And we saw lots of eagles and lots of cormorants. I even saw a um, Australian data, you know what Australian data is? No. It looks like a cormorant, but they've got a longer neck. Right. And um, a lot of people think they're a cormorant, but they're actually called a snake bird or an Australian data. No. Uh, when I made my Coochie Mudlow Island video, I had to cut one piece out of it because um, I was paddling along and I saw a snake bird and I went, ooh. There's a snake bird. And I was around all these um, yachts that had all tarps and then over them, just moored. Yeah. And I heard a voice in the background, that's a long necked cormorant, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> I just kept paddling. I didn't have the heart to say, no, it isn't. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've never been good at identifying birds. I can tell like the main ones, like kookaburra or, or galah or, you know, but. Um, being colour blind, like you're colour blind. Yeah, so am I. So how do you identify birds? By the way they look. Right, but the people will say it could have a reddish chest or something. I I can't see that. No, I can't either. <laughs> we just um, yeah. I, I've just learned over the years what what is what. I can't tell them all because it's the same reason colour blind. Same yeah. with trees and stuff. I can't tell because I'm yeah. colour blind. Just can't do it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I've I've just learnt. I'll go home. I'll see a bird that I don't know the name of. I'll Google it. I'll try and remember what that looks like and um, next time I go out in the bush I can see one and I'm 99% sure it's it but sometimes I'll get home and Google it and it's a wrong colour or something I'll get my wife to have a look. Yeah. So what colour is that? She'll tell me, oh, it wasn't that bad. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mm. Oh, well, maybe there's hope for me yet then. <laughs> so, yeah, when I go hiking with my mates, um, there's sometimes we come across pink ribbons that people have put pink ribbons through the bush as trail markers and uh, yeah, I don't see those either. Every now and again, if I actually focus and I see one, I notice it, but actually trying to follow a path of pink ribbons, I just don't see them. No. And uh, yeah, they think that's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, I, I think the, um, the yellow ones I can spot, I think it is, or, or blue, um, one, of the, one of the colors, but yeah, the pink ones, they seem to blend in. Yeah, this color, I could see this one, if they did that, did trees with that colour. Now that's either yellow or green, I just don't know which. Are you like is it? <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's green. I think it is. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna, uh, same as that, same colour as that. Well, I think that's yellow. Yeah, the colour, yeah. That might be green, but yeah, I don't, don't really know. So, you can, you can tell me in the comments below. <laughs> <laughs> My kids have fun with it. Like, they'll, they'll tease me all the time. I'll, uh, I think it's hilarious. I'll say, go and go and get the keys there in the blue, whatever. And they're like, there's nothing blue here. And yes, there is. <laughs> the amount of people that have said to me, oh, what do you see, black and white? Yeah, yeah. No, I don't see black and white. I see colours. I just don't see the same colours as you. Or at least I don't think so. It's just, um, I see colours. I just don't see as many colours as what you do. I think that's the, the thing. Because yeah. like that, I know for sure that's blue or purple, I just don't know which. That's right, yeah. Yeah, I just don't know which. So that there's obviously a blend issue with that. Like this, um, this, um, what do you call it? What do you call that thing? Oh, uh, dry bag. This dry bag's like, I think, it, I think it's red. I'm like 90% sure it's red, but it could be like dark orange or brown. Yeah. But I'm 90% sure it's red. So how do I go with car blinkers and car brake lights? Well, one of them blinks, and one <laughs> yeah. just flashes. 
<laughs> yeah. And, oh, I um, get those questions all the time. Yeah, I can tell the green traffic light, and I know the orange one's in the middle. So, you know, if it's that's that's because the orange and the red traffic light, uh, they're a bit oh, yeah. similar. Same know. here. Yeah. Okay. But I know the orange is in the middle, and I can tell the green. You know. We've grown up with it our whole life, so it's no no different. Yeah. I don't notice notice any difference. That's just the people who don't know. I liken it to um, computers, like. Uh, you know, my, my eyes might be like the 16-bit graphics card from 1983, whereas everyone else can see 16 million colours, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Remember when I was at school, one of the girls in my class, I must have only been like 10 or 11 years old, she did a test for me. She tested to see whether I was colourblind, because I told everyone I was colourblind, she didn't believe me, so she did a test. She picked all my coloured pencils and she held them up. And she was very smart the way she did it. She held up the pencil and she said, what colour is that? And I said, oh, that's, that's green. So then she wrote it down. And she picked up the next one and it comes out, oh, that's brown. And she wrote it down. And then she went through the whole lot and she did it all again. The next time she asked me whether the green or brown pencil was green or brown, I said it was brown. Last time I said it was green. She said, ah, you're not colour You said it the other colour last time. So, well, really, at that at that age in my life, I didn't actually know. I was colour I just didn't know that it was green or brown. Mm. So, yeah, that's, that's, but she was clever, didn't mm. I remember getting in trouble in primary school because I coloured a map in and I coloured what was supposed to be green, I made it brown. And the teacher's like, that's supposed to be green. I said, it is green. This is done exactly the same thing yeah. as me. I did exactly the same thing. <laughs> I had a woodwork assignment, I had to colour the piece of wood in, I paid colour it in green, it was supposed to be brown or vice versa. Yeah. <laughs> I like, actually lost marks and all my mates in class stood up for me and um, said, hey, Baz, it's colour mine. And I got my marks back. Hmm. Yeah. Well, cheers, mate. Cheers. It's great to be out here in this uh, awesome camping spot. Just all got it all to ourselves, man. It's unreal. Yeah. <laughs> How cool is this? This is just crazy. Not many people know about this, I don't think, until until now, that gets... Now they will. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll come back here next time. It'll be packed. I think that's actually happened with a lot of the bush camps in the Diagolo. I look on there to go and book a, book a campsite and they're all booked out. And then, hang on a minute, that might have been my fault. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's why some of those people on YouTube, they never tell you where they're going. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, I'm glad I found that mattress. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my back's good, but it ain't that good. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, as the sun starts to set, I'm going to settle into my um, last bit of whiskey and uh, I'll see you guys in the morning. Well, that's about it. I'm just about ready to crash for the night. I'll um, see you guys in the morning. Good night. I got porridge. Porridge? But uh, kind of boil a couple of eggs and some and just some breakfast biscuits. Awesome. And coffee, yes, coffee. I've got a few aches and pains from yesterday. My shoulder. But just like I think it's bruising from that uncomfortable seat. Might Put your shirt in the back of the seat there and put a bit more padding behind it today. Just um, push it on the back of the kayak. That's all. If we get an early start, then the um, water might still be nice and flat. There's no wind at the moment. That's likely to change. The sun's poking its head up. Nothing like spending time on our home away from home. Yeah. Private country estate. <laughs> <laughs> still Eating our um, breakfast cuisine. <laughs> I can still taste a bit of last night's whiskey in my coffee. <laughs> Truly, truly amazing that you can come and do stuff like this in places like this. This is just unreal. So, this is Gizmo signing off. If you like my videos, um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon, you'll get a notification when I put a new video up. I'll see you later. <laughs> so, I hope you like this video of me and Travis at the uh, like Wyagata, Wyara along. So I hope you like this video of me and Travis at Lake Wyagalong. Wyagalong. <laughs> <laughs> Cut. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> so I hope you like this video of me and Travis at Lake Waiaralong. I practice and practice that at home and I still couldn't be right. <laughs> um, yeah, um, yeah, so um, yeah, we've had we've had a great time. Uh, see you later.